Dan, du har du også for det. Det er really do feel like somebody's just gonna shake me and wake me. This is all just been a crazy dream. Um, I suppose the fact that it was so tough and so hard earned, I think it makes it all the more special as really well, you know. We, we, we stood that onslaught that came not in the first 20 minutes, but in the last 20 minutes. The storm, the storm was a little late, I suppose, you know, but God, it was tough. And uh, it's only those that these boys know how tough it was, like they had to win those vital balls, at vital stages in those closing minutes. But I think um, overall, you know, we had a good performance. Like we started very, very well. We had a really good run in for the last few weeks, and this morning went very well for us. I knew coming into the stadium that everything had gone well, you know. And the lads knew that as well. They were very relaxed this morning. It was great back on the way up in the train and back in the hotel before we came in. So everybody was very, very relaxed. Um, we, we knew what we needed to do. Like there was no mystery about it. There was no tactical conundrum that we had to solve. You know, it was just wanting it badly enough and waiting until the time came to start the engagement with the, with the battle. So that went very well. And of course, we had a good first half, a good solid first half. We probably should have put away a few more scores. Um, but, you know, we said, we'd said that too in the dressing room beforehand. It was going to be wide. So I'm sure, you know, that's just the way it is. Keep going for the next shot and keep going at it. Keep hitting them. Don't hold back. Just keep taking those shots on. And we just had one to spare to finish. So. It was a tough stretch, it was a tough stretch for us to hold the nerve and a lot of really difficult balls had to be won and they showed remarkable composure to, to withstand that onslaught, you know. It wasn't that we took our foot off the pedal, it was just an onslaught by the elementary of all changes and those changes, you know, they were, they were really hungry and fresh looking for the, the game and they took it to us, you know, so that's after God for that. Sorry. Can you put the words on the country line and can take that? Last three, and we've dropped the first square. Um, I was calm, not to be honest. I was calm. Yeah, I was really calm what I did to do. That was really calm. Uh, we're, we're looking at it, we're looking at it, and just wait to see what kind of a difference in his eyes was, for sure. He's done it so many days for God, guys. I don't think anyone will cast any instructions on him, you know. He's been a phenomenal follower. Phenomenal leader. Just an incredible follower. One of those one for the ages. I don't think anyone should hold that shot against him. I'm sure he would be more than played half to the end of the He was excellent. Oh, he, sorry, John. How do you think of our. You started laughing there when uh, Mrs. Dr. John got that last three. How was in your head? <laughs> I was saying, I'm right there this morning, Mrs. I was watching Chelsea play last night and he said, John reminded me of Maurizio Sarri in the side you know, I was... So calm. <laughs> I know, look. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know, when you're tying my head inside the towel there watching that period, you know, I was there coming off and I was just, you know, if you're looking at probably one of the greatest hurlers of all time, stepping over the ball, like I remember last year. Tipperary played him in the semi final and he got a free in that same position. The ball came back out and that's all he was worried about. But Tom Condon was there, like, you know, and Tom has been a great leader, like, you know, and I suppose you know, he was able to redeem himself from what happened earlier in the year there today. Like, that was some bite the ball to bring out there at the end, like, Jimmy Mac. That's kept the coolness in the head, like, just catch it there because you know, you'd be Johnny Lynn inside, like, and it could have happened, you know. Yeah, she listened, she was there, she was there, you know, we had a few injuries, that's the bottom line, you know, we had them ourselves, you know, we were, we were, that was our own making, you know, what could we do, let the fellas went down and I don't know exactly what was wrong with them, even to be honest, you know, in my case, they seemed to be cramping and uh, there was an, an injury to Skehill as well, that, uh, James Skehill, I don't know how he is actually, either. I haven't, uh, is he okay, yeah, good, um, like that was incredible, like that was, if had we got that goal, that was it was Cortis, I'd say, you know. I think that would have probably finished it. But the fact that he made that, that intervention and the boys cleared it, he kept the game in the in the melting pot. Um, yeah, sorry, what was the question? I'm gonna go lost, my head is gone. Sorry. Sorry. 
Yeah, no, I wasn't surprised at all. No, no, I, I partly guess it was going to be something substantial. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, our heart is jumping out of our chest like throughout the whole thing, you know. Um, but at the same time, you're trying to lock out the noise, as it were, and try and think as clearly as you possibly can and try and see what's actually happening in the front of you, you know. Um, like it's, it's new to us all, like, you know. It's not, it's not the easiest place to be by, believe me. I wouldn't recommend the job. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You would sure listen. It's, it's just an awful pity it took so long, really, because there were such fantastic teams there back in the 80s, 80, 81, 94, 96, 2007, like, and, and even other... Those groups would have fancied themselves other years, but you had the knockout situation, so... They were great teams, like, you know, great players, and just various bits and pieces just didn't go for them, and those occasions and it's a pity it took so long but uh, I'm just delighted to be involved with this particular group it's a great privilege and honour for me to be I suppose the spokesperson for this particular group and uh, I never thought you know going back over the last seven, eight, nine years that this is where it would end up but somebody else had plans I suppose you know, it is what it is. We've worked hard, like I suppose, you know. We've worked extremely hard. We've made massive sacrifices. Uh, both the players and the management. Huge sacrifices. And we've got, we've got our, re our reward, I suppose, at the end of the day now. Have you had a bit of a step at goal with the so we just wanted to get into the game, really, wasn't it, Darrell? That, that was all. You know, we weren't, we didn't, ex we didn't want to stream away. I didn't actually want to get a massive lead up early doors at all, because it becomes an awful weight on you when it starts to close down, as we saw with the eight-point lead in the finish. Like, it, it's, it's an incredible thing, you know, when a lead is going away and the momentum has shifted back to the opposition, and it's so difficult to, to, to actually stunt that momentum and reverse it and respond to it. And we've spoken about that all year as well, that the, the, you know, the need to respond at key moments in games when things have gone against you. Richie Hogan's goal in Thurles, you know. Um, here against Cork, you know, six points down, what, 11 minutes on the clock, you know, something had to happen. Like, you know, we had to respond. And, you know, sometimes when you have a big lead uh, and when it starts to trickle a bit and it closes a little bit and the crowd sinks the blood, you know, we had it ourselves, we caught with Cork, you know, the crowd smelted, we smelted, you probably smelted above. You could see the thing was slipping a bit. And today it slipped a bit, but we just managed to squeeze enough of a response to hold our ground. Like that key ball that Tom caught, the key ball that Graham won and got the point off. You know, we managed to win just enough balls in that closing uh, period uh, and get those shots off and, and you know, deter Galway and, and I suppose withstand that onslaught that came at the finish. Can I trust the hard for you to block out the memory of the past? Listen, I'm not, going, I'm not going to lie to you. I was here, I was a sub in 96, I saw, or 94, I saw it all happening in front of me, or I was an extended panel member in 94, I was on the, on the subs in 96. I've seen it happen in front of my eyes, you know? It's not... Listen, you can't block it out, you just acknowledge it and park it, and something will happen, you know, at the end of the day, and take your eyes, it'll take your mind off it, you know? Somebody will say something to you, or you'll see something yourself, and you just get distracted from that thought, as it were. Uh, it's trying to keep distracted from your thoughts, if you like. You know, it might sound mad, but it is trying to stay away from your thoughts if you can and think as little as possible and just deal with what's going on in front of you. I know you're not going to start with that, but can I just wrap down for two minutes?